Hi, this is Valerie. Welcome back to the Motopress YouTube channel. The appointment booking plugin is evolving with each new update, allowing more and more flexibility in working with the current and past bookings. Since appointment booking 1.9, you can edit all existing appointment reservations or add new ones manually. Sounds good for those who accept bookings in person, over the phone, or through other channels, doesn't it? So, if you are one of those and want to learn how to add manual bookings or make changes to existing ones, please keep watching. Sometimes you might want to add bookings to your calendar manually. This might be because you already had some bookings before you started using the appointment booking plugin by Motopress, or you might receive a booking from a source other than your website. For instance, if you have made a personal agreement with a client. In both scenarios, you'll need to make sure these bookings are in your schedule, so you don't get double booked. To add new bookings from your WordPress dashboard, Navigate to Appointments, Bookings. At the top, you'll notice the Add New button. Click on it. It will open a standard menu where you can pick a service, add a client name, and add a payment. Now I'll show you how to do it step by step. First, you see no reservations found. Consequently, the total price is unknown. We want to add the booking, so I'm going to click on the Edit Reservations button. Then add more. You will follow almost the same booking process as your bookers. From the drop-down menu, select the service to be provided. The rest of the fields are optional. Next, choose the booking date on the calendar. Now select the exact time the appointment should begin. Done. After this, we can specify the total number of participants. The booking price will automatically be calculated based on the number you have chosen. If not, check your service settings. Then I'm entering the customer information, including name, email address, and phone number. Click Create. Now you may notice the total price has appeared. Once you receive the money from your client, you need to click Add Payment manually and save this payment. You may enter an online payment for your booker, record payment by another method, or leave the booking costs unpaid for some period. It's up to you. Moreover, you can utilize logs to add any custom info for your team about a customer or payment. What's more, it's possible to modify the existing bookings, but before we're going to edit the reservation details, I should mention that the editing process will differ and it depends on whether you use a multi-booking feature or not. We'll cover two scenarios. First, we're going to edit an individual booking when the multi-booking is not enabled on your website. Go to Bookings, click Edit. We can change the appointment time and date. Change the number of people for this appointment. Also, edit customer details and add some booking notes if needed. And of course, update the booking status. After that, you can add a manual payment. Done. Now it's high time to activate multi-booking and see what changes it brings to the editing process. Let's edit one of the bookings. It contains two services. The first thing that catches your eye is this Remove button 
instead of the edit button. The only detail that can be modified here in this section is the number of participants. That's why if you need to change the date or time or other data, you'll have to delete this particular booking and add a new one instead of that with the updated details. To sum up, when it comes to bookings, the admin area works with the same code and with the same logic as the front end. If you see a multi booking feature, to edit the booking, you'll have to delete the service first and then add a new one with the correct details. And if the multi booking is not enabled, you can edit the service immediately. Also note, there are some differences in editing or adding bookings to the dashboard. Website admins can edit past dates. The minimum past date you can choose depends on the first booking ever made on your site. If this is a new booking, you can choose dates up to the first available day of the current month. The Allow Multi-Booking option remains enabled for editing current bookings that contain more than one service, even if you disable this option in the settings. The reservation price can be automatically updated to the current one if the reservation was not paid yet or if the paid price is lower than the new one. In case of underpayment, customers can pay the required balance, but recording refunds are not possible via the plugin system. By the way, since appointment booking version 1.8, you can also view and manage all bookings in the individual calendar menu. We have a tutorial on this topic. Don't miss it. The link to it can be found in the description box down below. To conclude, bookings can be scheduled and staffed in two different ways. The first way is by customer using a booking wizard. The other way is for you or one of your employees with admin rights to enter the bookings manually, such as when a customer calls for an appointment. This tutorial covered the manual scenario. And if a client contacts you to change their booking details, you can easily do it from your WordPress dashboard too. Let us know whether you like the update or have any questions in the comments section. If you found value in this video, I appreciate all your support. Remember to drop a like, tap that notification bell, and subscribe to our channel. We have lots of tutorials in the playlist dedicated to the appointment booking plugin that we created for you. Do check out the show notes down below for some timestamps and some different information. Follow us on social media. We are constantly sharing product news and promotions on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.